welcome back to this channel again. It's Max from the Max Creation. We are still looking at security guard questions. Security guard jobs looks the most easier quest job that you can get because the skills or what the requirements are not that at the highest point. But what they require of you is you the personality, the personality of you and who the kind of person the person is recruiting or that person or that company is possible. And that's why we ended up it all at one moment of time. Then someone, the question, one another question that's normally asked in what you call those security guard interviews. I've tried, at least I've tried to interact with some of the human resources or people who are recruiting. And they most normally ask, what is your greatest strength? What is the greatest strength that you have? What are you good at? What can you say about yourself? That what is the positive part of you? It is what you call the greatest strength. My one of my greatest strength is that I like learning. I like working with a team because I I work with a team. I definitely going to learn a lot of things, and it enables me or it shows that I can work with a multicultural team member, and I'm good that I can deliver with that team. So we look at the greatest strength that you have it is one question that may ask because now they are not asking the usual questions that what was your responsibility those are stone age era now the recruiters are looking at what you can give out who you are what is your personality and what you can deliver or what you can add to that company and that's what exactly they are doing i think most of you have gone to this study and you know what exactly we are talking about and what exactly they do they do us what is your greatest strength yes one of the things that i definitely i expect you to say is good management skills yes sir, for example you're a security guard and you're in a location you are four people or you are given a role of a supervisor let's say for example they're hiring what you call a team leader or supervisor yes you have to show them that you have good management skills how are you going to show the greatest strength you have without you all, you, without even mentioning the management? Because how can you handle the team? It's all about the management, how you deal with the team. Uh, if you're given as a team leader, how do you delegate duties or how you give the instruction? It's part of the management within the team that you have. So definitely, as an interviewer, I expect you to mention that. That is a skill that you have. So it enables or it really tells the interviewer that you can handle or you can try to work within the team itself. Then we look at curiosity or we look at eagerness, uh, what you call eagerness to learn. You are willing to learn. Yes, there's no one who's going to recruit someone who's, who doesn't want to learn new things in the company, who doesn't want to learn new things. Remember most of these jobs or most of these places we go to, we find new things. But we always have to learn. When you learn a new things, it adds on you, it keeps with you, it does not go off. So you are eager to learn or you want to learn to make sure that you improve yourself. So normally, this is one of the things that you definitely have to mention as a person. I'm eager to learn. I'm curiosity. I want to learn to know more things. When I'm given a team to lead like 20 people as a security supervisor, Yes, I want to learn more things, how things are worked out, how we do things, how we do this. You are eager to learn and you want to learn, which is quite very important or which is very important. Then we look at what you call a strong work ethics. Ethics is very important. You have the ethics to work. You have the determination to work is what we call a strong work. Tell that interviewer. You are interviewed for a security supervisor role. Show this person or show this panel that you have good work ethics. Yes, how to deal with the team, how to deal with the management is the good work ethics. This person, he will identify you when it's to give roles or to give, you'll be the first person to be given those roles. If you get that opportunity, I'm talking about this interviewing whereby you get an opportunity to meet the panel of four or five or six people that are ready to listen to you. Not Skype, not Hello, 
Who are you? What are you? Someone is not seeing you. We look at this kind of interviewing where the person you have to go in front of the panel for something that's a little bit higher or good. Even some companies, if they're going to promote someone to another, let's say from one level to another, they will call that person to interview that person. They will need it to assess what kind of productivity you have or what kind of ethics that you have you can add on that company or you can add on that team. Then we look at ability to adjust. You have the ability to adjust to any changing situation. You don't have to be rigid. You don't have to be stern. It's like your security guard and given a location whereby you have to stand like a, an electric pole in one way. People will look at you and be like, who is this a hell, this one? Try to be that kind of person who's very sensitive with the environment. Try to move around, move this side, move around. So it is the same thing when interviewing, uh, interviewers are looking for this. They are looking at the, the greatest strength you have is you can adjust to any environment. Let's say, for example, there is no transportation. Are you willing to wait for an extra hour? Yes. If you are given an extra role, are you willing to take on that extra role? They are looking for such kind of characters at one world. And that is the only best way we can get the promotions, especially when you come to these Gulf countries. If you are working those particular companies, it is the only way that you're going to get those promotions. It is showing some kind of attributes. We call them the attributes, the kind of characters, of leadership characters that you tend to, be, tend to show. Is what people are going to identify. Then they know this person he knows or this person can help us this kind of job in one way or the other. Then we look at creativity and innovativeness. It's very important. Most of us have been put to, to jobs or to locations, but you're never innovative, not even creative. You're like, to whom it may concern. Yes, you may say to whom it may concern. Let's say, for example, you are taken to that location. You know, we meet different people. You are taken to that location and you like, you leave it to yourself to whom it may concern. Yes, remember to whom it may concern. But once the time comes and they are looking for someone with a greater ability, you will be left out. They may get someone else new to lead you out, which is going to be very bad. So show that kind of innovativeness and show that kind of creativity within yourself. You don't have to do a lot. People think creativity, talking about creativity, you have to bring this, you have to do this. But mentally yourself, how do you tend to treat yourself is also kind of very important. Then you will look at what you call good communication skills. It can be one of the greatest, greatest strength that you can have. How you communicate. Most of the time, the good communicators have ended up getting good places, getting good locations, or being recognized, or being looked at, or being identified and picked out in a group, and given higher or higher responsibility. So you will need that responsibility. Then definitely, you have to look for that, and definitely, you have to get it in one way or the other. Hope I've tried to share something. This is just a clip of you in case you are being called. What did you need to say? What did you need to do? And what did you know exactly? What exactly you need to put to let this person identify you or this person recruit you or this person choose you as the best person and he'll get you or give you what you call a visa or give you or make your processing of every document easier and very fast. Thank you so much. See you again. Remember, it's me. If you saw first time, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video to the new people. Let them know and let us try to develop ourselves in one way or the other. See you again in the next video.